It was Friday 12.10 p.m., math class had just ended, and lunch began. After I got my food, I proceeded to whatever table my friends and the girl of my dreams were sitting at. There was my friends Mac, Taylor, Paul, and the most perfect girl in the world, Alex. And there was me Jake Key, just a boring black-haired, green-eyed, 15-year-old boy. Hey Jake, Taylor said. Hi Taylor, what's new? I asked nothing much she responded. That's not true Paul said. Alex got herself the Sonic Amiibo. Alex responded that's right, but I wish there was a Tails Amiibo. Here we go again with the Tails crap Max said with a groan. Shut up you. Tails is the best. She retorted back. What is it that you like about Tails so much? I asked Alex. She began to explain well he's adorable. He's kind, he's fuzzy, he's smart, and all around, a pleasant character. She's obsessed with that fox Paul said she has like five tails plushies. Wow, Alex sure likes tails. I can't really blame her. Tails the fox, from the Sonic series, seems like a nice guy. I wasn't that smart, or cute, and though I was generally nice. I wasn't as sweet as Tails, so I guess I kinda admired him. Jake, are you okay? Alex asked. It turns out I got lost in her amazing, brown eyes oh. No I'm fine. As you can probably tell, I really liked Alex. Not just her looks, but her personality. She was nice, funny, and energetic. And hey, her looks aren't too shabby either. Long, silky, brown hair, her before mentioned eyes and a cute face. It's too bad she would never go for a guy like me. I asked her out many times, but she kept on denying. We were still friends, but I want to change that. School soon ended and I traveled outside. A little sad about the fact that I was stuck in this friend zone. I looked at the school fountain, got out a quarter, and said, I wish I was more like Tails. I tossed the quarter in. After that, I walked home. My parents were on vacation, so the house was all mine. I decided to start making dinner, but something felt odd. There was a itch on my skin. The itch speeded up, as it was spreading quickly. I took off my shirt, just to see what the heck was going on. It was fur, yellow-orange fur. I was shocked to say the least. The fur continued to grow from my skin, as white fur grew on my chest. I soon ran to a mirror to get a better look. Soon after, my black hair was becoming the same color as the orange fur, and three strands were sticking out just above my eyes. My ears worked their way higher on my head. They became triangular, almost like dot 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 fox ears. It all made sense now. Him turning into tails? No, I only wished to be more like him, not to be him. I shouted. I began to shrink a bit. My arms became more thin, along with my legs. My nose turned black and became much smaller. My eyes on the other hand became larger, and turned light blue. A slight pain struck my face, as it pushed out into a short muzzle. More white fur began to grow on my new muzzle, and it became longer at my cheeks. I shrank even more, as my pants fell to the ground. A sharp pain shot through my backside, I felt my spine elongating into a poofy tail, mostly orange, with white at the tips. I was hit with similar pain as an identical tail sprouted from my backside. My voice changed into something that sounded more youthful, as my neck shortened. Two white gloves materialized on my hands, and my shoes, became red and white. My transformation was finished. Oh man, what am I going to do now? I asked myself, how will I explain this? Wait, I could work with this. I went outside making sure no one saw me. Then I reached Alex's house. It was a real good thing her parents were away as well. I knocked on the door, and soon enough she came out to see who it was. She then looked down at me and gasped. A uh, hi I said with a nervous smile. Oh my god she said with shock but dot dot but. Don't worry, it's me Jake. I told her, Jake, what the heck happened to you? She asked with concern. I can't. Can you let me in? She then let me inside her home, and I explained what happened. Soon she was looking at me with the same look, you would give to a cute puppy. Why are you looking at me that way? You're adorable. She exclaimed. A dot 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 thanks I said uncertainly. She then pricked me up and hugged me. I was surprised at first, but I soon was enjoying it. I was hugging the girl of my dreams and did not want to spoil the moment. I was going to find an explanation later, for now I just wanted to enjoy this affection.